Okay, for lesson mod 5, lesson 13, our objective, multiply mixed numbered factors and relate the distributive property and area model. A central question for you to answer before we start is, how can I use the distributive property to multiply fractions and find the area of rectangles? Now, we've kind of been working with this while we did the tiling. But like I said, tiling is kind of confusing, even though it's a concept you have to understand. But I think you all were ready to move to the distributive model. So. Now, for here's the standard. Remember, you don't have to write this whole standard down. The biggest thing I want you to do, it is MAFS5 NF24. And basically, we're going to find the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths. And we're going to do that by multiplying fractional side lengths to find areas of rectangles and represent fract boxes as a rectangle. Okay? That's the stuff in red. That's what we're really working on in this one. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So you can see we have one and three quarter times. One and one third times three and three quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and label this. This is three. I'm going to get my pen. And this one here is three. And this is three fourths over here. And this is one and one third. Okay. And we see when we multiply this out, we know this is going to be one times three for this area, one times three quarter for here. This is going to be one third times three. And this is one third times three fourths. Now, if we look at our distributive model, I'm going to take the one times three first. One times three plus one times three quarter plus one third times three plus our one third times three quarter. I'm going to go down here. One third times three quarter. Now that we have that written out, now we can solve for it. You notice that matches because there's my one third times three, my one third times three fourths, my three times one third, and my one third times three fourths. It matches the area. So I know one times three is three, plus one times three fourths is three fourths, plus one third times three is three thirds, plus one third times three fourths can be three twelfths. Now, now I can see that this one third, three thirds is going to be one, and that's three fourths plus three plus three twelfths. Now I got four plus three fourths plus three twelfths. Well, the three fourths, if I multiply the four by three, I get twelve, and the three by three, I get nine. So now I got four plus nine twelfths plus three twelfths. And that's going to end up, I have to come over here, 4 plus 9 plus 3 is 12 twelfths. So the answer would be 5. So our area for this one would end up being 5. Okay. Let's try it again. This one is 16 and a half times 4 and a quarter. So once again, we're just labeling it. Here's my 4 and a quarter. And over here, I got 16 for this side, and this is my half. And once again, if I looked at this here, it would be 16 times 4. And if I did this way, that's where that would start with, would be 16 times 4 plus. Then I'd have 16 times 1 quarter, which if I look here, at 16 times 1 quarter plus. Now I'd have to come down here with half times four. And if you notice over here, this is half times four. So now we got one half times four plus, and my last one is one half times one fourth. So this is one half times one fourth. See our, our area model and my distributive property are exactly the same, okay? Well, I know 16 times 4, 4 times 10 is 40, 4 times 6 is 24, so that's going to be 64 plus 16 fourths plus 4 halves plus 1 eighth. And now I'm going to simplify everything before I get started. Now I got 64 plus, I know 4 goes to 16 four times plus 2 goes to 4 two times plus one eighth. So now I got 64 plus four would be 68 and two would be 70 and one eighth. So there's our answer. 
Okay, our last challenge is a word problem. And it says an eight inch by 10 inch picture is resting on a mat. Three fourths of an inch of the mat shows around the edge of the picture. Find the area of the mat not covered by the picture. So first off, here's our picture. And let me get my pen going here. We know that it is from here to here is eight inches. From here to here, it is 10 inches. So we know the area, we can find that about pretty easy. We know that's eight times 10. So that's that area is actually 80 inches squared. So that was the easy part. But now we gotta find out the area of the mat, okay? Now the mat is said there, each side here, it's gonna be hard for me to draw right here. This side right here was three fourths of an inch. And this side over here is three, fourths of an inch. So that's six fourths. So I know the total length here is eight and six fourths, which I know four goes into six one time. So this could be nine and two fourths, which is a half. So I know that the width is nine and a half. Now going the lengthwise, I know it's 10 inches and then three quarter and three quarter again, which is gonna be six fourths which I know, once again, that's one and a half, so it's gonna be 11 and a half inches in length. So now I wanna find the area of this whole mat right here. And I'm gonna do that by doing nine and a half times 11 and a half. And we're gonna do the same distributed part. We got nine times 11 plus nine times half, plus half times 11, plus our last one, which is half times half. Now we do this, nine times 11 is gonna give us 99. Now nine times one half is gonna give us nine halves, plus 11 times one half is gonna give us 11 halves, plus half times half is gonna give us one fourth. Now when I look at this, I got 99 plus, this is gonna be 20 halves plus one quarter. And I know 20 halves is gonna be equal to 10 plus 99 plus one quarter. So I end up with 109 and one quarter inches squared. Now, we've got 80 inches and 109 and one quarter. So we know that they wanna find out this area here, the shaded area, which is not covered by the picture. So if I take the whole area, which is 109 and one quarter, and I subtract 80 inches from it, that's gonna give me my area, which I know one quarter, here and 109 minus 80 is going to be 20. So our answer is going to be 20 and one quarter inches squared. That is our answer. Now, I'm sorry for the writing. My board wasn't working, so I had to use one of our regular styluses. Okay. So hope you can read that, but this is one of the hard ones. Just remember, we just had to take the whole area of the hole and subtract the picture to find out what the mat was not covered, okay? All right, so today we're really focusing just on distributed model, and we've kind of been working on it, and we threw that word problem in at the end of it where we had to find two areas and then solve for what wasn't covered, okay? It's very important to read and make sure you're answering the question that's being answered, okay? All right. We'll see you in the morning.